The Football World Cup is only a few months away and South Africans are excited. Africa is our time! It's the first time the tournament's being held on the African continent, but fewer than half the numbers of foreign fans are coming, 450,000, much less than the 1 million estimated back in 2002. Flight availability is partly to blame. Concerns about security here seem to have put off some foreign fans. FIFA officials say German and English fans especially, and they want South African President Jacob Zuma to intervene. We should even ask Zuma to give a call to the, his colleagues, Angela Merkel, Gordon Brown, etc., just to call them and say, hey, I mean, tell your country that South Africa is a country. I mean, it's not the end of the world. In South Africa, we have people living here. We have a lot of foreigners having business in South Africa, and they are still working, and they are happy, and they are making money, and they are not just behind fences, etc., being afraid to be here. There were close to 20,000 murders in the year ending March 2009. Knives or sharp objects were used in about 52% of the deaths. South Africans have differing opinions about the levels of crime. They might say it's dwindling and it's going down, but I don't think so. I mean, you read about these things in the paper every day and you can't help but be scared. I don't think our, our crime is so high. I mean, our, 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 our police are fighting the crime. I mean, they are doing it so, so well. Then it's, we take it under control. It's not safe to walk anywhere anymore. You can't go out at night and just walk around the block or anything. You can't walk in alleys or anything. So I think the crime rates are very bad and they seriously have to do something about it. Officials are spending close to 200 million US dollars on security during the World Cup, hoping to allay fears not just about crime, but the sometimes violent nature of it. South Africa has one of the highest crime rates in the world, 50 murders a day according to police statistics. So to convince people that coming here is safe, the government says it will deploy an additional 40,000 police to maintain law and order. It's been a rough road for South Africa. The ticketing process was criticized by poor black South Africans for being impractical. Most don't have internet access to apply for tickets online. The alternative option Filling out ticket application forms in banks is tedious and means taking time off work. FIFA's recent decision to allow over-the-counter sales for South Africans in April is a move officials hope will put more people in seats. Only two of the three million tickets available have been sold so far. The country may still have to do a lot more work to alleviate fears of foreign fans still undecided about travelling here and convince the local fans to pop into their local stadium. Haru Matasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.